seven playoff records that Luka Doncic has already broken, let's get straight to it. Currently, there are only five NBA players who have ever scored 40 points in a Game 7 under the age of 26 years old. There is Allen Iverson at 25 years, 361 days old. There is Oscar Robertson at 24 years, 137 years old. There is Jamal Murray at 23 years, 205 days old. There is LeBron James at 23 years, 140 years old. And now, there's Luka at 22 years. 98 days old, making him not only the youngest player ever to score 40 in a game 7, but the youngest by over a year. Just to remind y'all, Luka Doncic's stat line for the game 7 loss was 46 points, 7 rebounds, and 14 assists. This makes Luka Doncic only the second NBA player ever to score 45 points and 10 assists in a game 7. The first man to do it was Kevin Johnson versus the 1995 Rockets. Kevin Johnson also lost that game, and the Rockets would go on to win the championship. Now, this isn't part of the records, but I did go back to that Kevin Johnson stat line, where he was 21 for 22 from the line. Luka was only 7 for 11 from the line, so I just thought that was pretty interesting. Now, this is probably the most impressive record that anyone can realistically break, and Luka has. Luka has now passed Michael Jordan in playoff points per game which makes him the all-time leader with at least 10 minimum games played in the playoffs. The craziest part about this record is you don't even need to add the minimum of 10 games played. Kevin Durant was third in playoff points per game until this year's playoffs, where if he didn't add the minimum game requirement, he is now seventh. With the recent performances of Trey Young, John Morant, Devin Booker, and of course, Luka Doncic. Luka is also the third player ever to record 300 points in their first 9 playoff games. His company, Michael Jordan and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Luka Doncic is now the youngest player ever to average 35 points per game in a single playoff series. I really wonder what will happen once Luka plays a team other than the Clippers, if that ever even happens. Would his points go up or down? Luka's 29-point first half in Game 7 is the most in any half of a Game 7 in the last 25 years. Now, this next part isn't a record, but it's pretty wild. Luka's only put up a total of 40 points in the fourth quarter in this whole series, yet an entire 86 in the first and 71 in the second, which obviously the shooting percentage is going down with each quarter. Luka's only 22 years old, and if he can just work on his stamina, or even just get a teammate that's more of a threat than Tim Hardaway Jr., he is going to be a definite problem for any team he plays in the playoffs. In Game 5, Luka ended with a stat line of 42 points, 8 rebounds, and 14 assists. He scored or assisted on 31 of the Mavericks' 37 field goals. This means that he scored or assisted on 83.8% of the entire field goals of the entire game, which is the highest percentage in an NBA game ever, regular season or playoffs. This just shows how much they rely on him for offense. Now the final record isn't really a record, but it's just, it's just a fact. Luka Doncic has 5 40-point playoff games. This is more 40-point playoff games than Damian Lillard, Carmelo Anthony, Tracy McGrady, Kyrie Irving, Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Vince Carter, Tim Duncan, and Carl Malone. Luka has only played 13 playoff games, and all the other players I just listed have played over 50. That's all I have for you guys. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. And comment which player I should do next. Peace.